Welcome to the 76th edition of the Tata Steel Chess Tournament currently being played in the Netherlands. Great tournament, great players, great environment. Don't miss any of the action. These are the participants in the Tata Steel Master Section, the A Group. Levin Aronian from Armenia. Carl Nakamura from the United States. Fabiano Caruana representing Italy. Boris Gelfand from Israel. Sergei Karyakin representing Russia. Lanier Dominguez from Cuba. Anis Giri, the Netherlands. Wesley So, the Philippines. Nadich from Germany. Pantala Hari Krishna from India. Richard Rapport from Hungary. And Luke Van Wiele, who I met once and got his autograph, is from the Netherlands. Average rating 2743, category 20. Great tournament. Don't miss any of the action. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Hi folks, John Cordisco back again with another great chess video for you. This is round 12, the last round of one of my favorite tournaments, the 76th annual Tata Steel tournament currently being played in the Netherlands. This is a game doesn't really matter much for the first place. Levin Aronian is white from Armenia who automatically wins first. She's two games ahead and this is the last round. And Luke Van Wiele from the Netherlands who's just playing for bragging rights. Uh, met Luke once, got his autographs. He's a pretty cool guy. He's pretty funny. Anyway, this is going to be a Dutch. Aronian's white. Van Wiele is black. And Van Wiele's going all out. You've got nothing to lose. You can't win the tournament. You can't even get third. Um, you're on your home turf. So let's go for it against the number two rated player in the world. And the guy that's going to win the tournament, let's go out. E3, H6, H3, H3. G5, here we go, typical Dutch. It's going to be imbalanced and it's going to be fun. I should play this myself if I had the nerve. H2, G7, Knight. I'm going to breeze through the opening fairly quick here just to get to it's where the action starts. Here we go, Queen of G5. Now, right now, it's maybe a little less of a pawn advantage for White. I have my Fritz 13 on off screen. And here you see, he wants to go g4 with his pawn. Uh, this bishop's going to come into play. This one's not too much to play on the attack. This one hopefully will get into the action eventually. The queen's here. You've got your pawns coming down on his queen side. And let's look at what's the fences. Knight, queen, this bishop, these pawns. It's pretty even right now. Queen to c2. G4, here we go. We're going to mix it up here. Things are going to get a little crazy. H takes, knight takes. Looks scary, doesn't it? <laughs> Bishop B5 for Aronian. Aronian, cool as a cucumber. Always is. King to H8. Queen to Bishop 3. Knight to D8. Bishop E5. D takes, D takes. Queen to b4. Here's Aronian. Cool as a cucumber. That's a really good multi-purpose move there. Queen's hitting this, so the bishop has to protect it. This queen's coming across. It's That's a good move. I like that move a lot. Knight to e6. Like I said, here comes Luke. With his other knight getting the attack. Rook a to d1. And this is where I think Luke messes up. I think in his eagerness to try to just push and go all out, he goes c5. And it went down from about, we'll say, even to almost a point and three quarters advantage for white, point and a half. I think he should have went e4 instead, but I thought his eagerness got the best of him. He wanted the queen out, so he went c5. 
Now his queen to b3. Now his tank seems to be fizzling out. We'll have to see how it works out. Knight to c7. Bishop b2. e6. Bishop c4. Bishop back. If black had gone back here, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, knight takes. And that would have been no good. The attack is gone. Once the queens are off the board, Van Wheelie has no shot. Bishop e2. F4. Push, 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 push. E takes, E takes. Bishop comes there. Great spot for that bishop. Of course, the knights can't be. There's no pawns on either side here to harass it. This knight's protecting the bishop. That's a good spot for Aronian. And plus, also, too, in the skewer here is the other bishop. And at a moment's notice, this pawn can come up and the queen can come across this way. I think Aronian's okay. Sorry for the arrows. Got a little carried away. Bishop c6. Bishop e7. Rook f7. Bishop c4. Knight blocks. And this is where Aronian makes a mistake. I think what happened was he knew he was going to win the tournament. He still wants to win this game. If I'm not mistaken, he ties a record for a number of wins at the Tata Steel tournament when he used to be called Chorus, and I forgot what it was called prior to that. This ties the record for a number of wins. So I think he was going for that. But he knows in the back of his mind he already won. So I think he just relaxed a little bit. He moved his bishop back to h4, and that dropped his entire advantage. It was over a two-point advantage. He went back to bishop h4. What he should have done instead was bishop takes a5, bishop d6, and he would have been sitting pretty after that. After bishop to h4, rook to f5. I do want to say at this point that Aronian as white was starting to get low on time and he gets very low on time towards the end and it's not going to give away who won after rook to f5 Aronian goes bishop to d3 rook comes back bishop goes back to b1 you know I think what white's doing right now is okay you got your attack prove it prove you can come after me I'm just waiting for you to come bring it on rook rook takes Rook takes. Knight to e4. I don't think that was a very good move. It looks like a very natural move. He's about three quarters of a pawn up now, and after knight to e4, it's a small advantage for black. I think instead, as the computer suggests, queen to c2, knight, queen, bishop. And that would take the queens off the board. And that was set white very well. He played knight to e4. Now Van Wheelie makes a mistake. The move is knight to e5. We all can see it. Four black. Here. We all can see it. He plays knight d to e3. He drops all of his advantage. I think he had more time than Aronian. He should have played knight to e5. And then after knight there, knight takes, knight takes, knight to f6. I think black's sitting a lot better. All of his pieces are converging. This bishop's coming down. This knight's going to come in. The queen's here. This bishop's going to come out of retirement here very soon. F takes. Bishop takes e4. Bishop takes. Rook takes. Material's dead even. It's almost a point and a half advantage for white. All Aronian has to do is write out the storm of, of Black's attack, and he's fine. He should be able to actually probably win this game, but the minimum draw it. Queen takes pawn. Queen to g6. Rook to d8 check. Looks like white's got some counterplay. King comes up. Rook to d5. Has a mate threat. Mate threat we see, of course, is queen here mate. Because the queen and the pawn block the escape square for the king. So he goes rook to e6. Good move. Good move. Keeps the queen where he wants it. 
and at the same time blocks the queen. Now this is where a Ronin under tremendous time pressure, tremendous time pressure, plays E takes. And to give you an idea, it's a minute advantage for black right now. We'll call it even. And after E takes, it jumps to almost 10 point advantage for black. Under tremendous time pressure, he just couldn't make it. He should have went knight to e1. Not that easy a move to see. After knight to e1, f takes rook, a, rook to a8. And I think he could have held on. And Luke plays this tremendously good move. Can you see it? Can you see Black's move here? Pause the video and look for the great move Black can do right now. It's an amazing move to find. Bishop to d4 check. And this is where Levin Aronian, the winner of the 2014 Tata Steel Tournament, resigned. To give you an idea, after Bishop to d4, Queen takes, Pawn takes, comes out the same. You're down a Queen, game is over. If Pawn had taken, Queen comes here, mate. Queen can't come back because the pawn's blocking. The knight's guarding these two spots. Great move. Great find from Van Wheelie. He gets a little bit of his national pride back. Anyway, folks, that's the game from round 12. I hope you enjoy it. I want you to remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. I want to thank all my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And please tell all your chess friends about my channel. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. Tracy to kids. Tracy to kids. Come in, kids. Come in, kids. It's here at last. The new Dick Tracy two-way wrist radio that keeps you in constant touch with your buddies. Easy to work. Up antenna. Switch on. Press talk button. And you broadcast from room to room. And even house to house. No wires needed, yet voices travel back and forth. Radio on the open road from one bike to another, or when out hiking. Dad, Dad, I found a bear's cave. Be right down, son. The powerful, fully transistorized Dick Tracy two-way wrist radio is a real electronic instrument. Make sure all the fellows get their A-OK -okay Dick Tracy wrist radio so they can keep in touch. Over and out. The one and only Dick Tracy Wrist Radio, wherever American toys are sold. <laughs>